Well, a week has passed since 54-year-old Don Massingill was killed in a hit and run along Western Avenue while riding his motorcycle. Tonight, Don's family tells us who he was as a person and how they want others to remember him. WT6 on your side's Ella Wales is in studio with more about that. Ella. Don Massengill's family describe him as a loving husband, father, and brother whose life was taken too soon. Rena Page Massengill says her husband would do anything for her. I don't know what was the world to me. He meant everything to me. He treated me like a queen. Couldn't ask for a better love. The two first met 20 years ago when Don was working at a pilot gas station in East Knoxville. And uh, we just hit it off but it wasn't the right timing for us, of course. Um, so about nine years ago, um, we reunited, made it official, and just celebrated our fifth year marriage anniversary this past January. Don's daughter, Jemaya, says he was taken too soon. He was a really good person. He treated us well, and he always did things for us, stuff like that. And I'm just sad that God took him and we wasn't ready. Not only was Don special to his family, but also to the people he served at his job as a cat bus driver. His sister Sandra Restivo says several of his passengers and coworkers attended his memorial service. One of his students came early because he had a shift and his name was Donald and like my brother. And um, he said that um, he would do his best to carry on the Donald tradition, but he knew he had big shoes to fill. And um, that was very kind. We appreciated hearing that. We also spoke to Cat's transit director who expressed his appreciation for Don in a statement saying, the entire Cat family is grieving at the tragic loss of bus operator Don Massengill. A calm presence and natural mentor, Don was one of the first employees to receive his operator training certificate, making him a professional trainer for new bus operators. He went on to say, we are shocked and saddened and his loss is being felt by us all. And while family and friends continue to grieve, Sandra says she hopes the police department will be able to get justice for her brother. It's been unfathomable to think that you would simply drive away. That's not who my brother is. That's not what he would have done. Um, and I just hope that whoever did it does the right thing, um, admits what they did, Knoxville Police Department tells us the other vehicle involved in the crash has been located and the investigation into the crash is ongoing. All right, thank you very much, Ellen. According to police, Masco was on his motorcycle when he was hit by that car, and as she said, he did that driver then took off. But we will follow this investigation, let you know when there's any update to it.